A major crackdown against the opposition is underway in Pakistan. Legal actions ranging from arrest to indictment are being used by the Imran Khan government against prominent opposition leaders. From former President Asif Ali Zardari and his sister Faryal to Shehbaz Sarif, the president of Pakistan's most prominent opposition party, the PMLN. He is also the brother of former Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Pakistan opposition will now be holding a joint meeting today in just a short while from now to address this unprecedented crackdown on the opposition in Pakistan by the Imran Khan government. Former Pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari has been indicted in, by the Imran Khan government and uh, his supporters are saying that the legal action is part of a wider campaign against the leaders standing in opposition to Prime Minister Imran Khan. Zardari is the husband of former Pakistan Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto, who was assassinated in 2007. He is currently a member of parliament and has served as president of the country from 2008 to 2013. Last year in June, he was arrested by the anti-corruption officials in a separate money laundering case and released on bail on medical grounds in December. Reacting to the developments, his son and chairman of the PPP, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, accused the Imran Khan government of political victimization of the opposition, adding that Zardari and Talpur have been appearing in court for the past two years. He appeared before the court along with Talpur and his daughter Asifa Bhutto Zardari. The former president, his sister Faryal and several of their business associates are being probed as part of a 2015 case regarding fake accounts and fictitious transactions. Besides Zardari, PMLN President Shehbaz Sharif has been arrested by Pakistan's National Accountability Bureau. His bail was rejected by the Lahore High Court in a money laundering case. A large number of PMLN supporters were at the court to support Sharif. Immediately after the arrest, a scuffle broke out between security personnel and supporters of the PMLN. Party spokesperson Mariam Nawaz criticized the move, claiming that the leader was arrested by the Accountability Bureau at the behest of the government of uh, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan, she went on to suggest that Shehbaz being arrested right before the polls in Gilgit Baltistan suggested a political move. Mariam alleged that the quote-unquote 58 volume document did not have Shehbaz's name anywhere and that the upcoming Gilgit Baltistan polls were rigged. Joining us on this broadcast is uh, my colleague uh, Anas Malik, who's joining us from Islamabad. Anas, uh, over to you. This is a massive major uh, meeting being planned by all political parties in Pakistan who have come together, uh, at least morally, for the first time against Imran Khan government. But the crackdown continues on various opposition leaders, isn't it? What's the likely outcome of this crucial meeting of Pakistan opposition? Absolutely, a major crackdown that is currently ongoing against the opposition parties. Those dissenting voices who are voicing their, uh, who are voicing against Imran Khan's government. This is what is the common perception here in Pakistan is that uh, anybody from the opposition who is criticizing, criticizing the current Imran Khan regime is being put behind bars. And a latest example of that we saw yesterday when the leader of the opposition, Shahbaz Sharif, his his uh, interim bail was cancelled and then subsequently he was arrested. Today, the opposition parties would be holding a. a, a an emergency meeting of the joint opposition. Uh, they had devised a mechanism called PDM or the Pakistan Democratic Movement, which would be holding its quote unquote emergency meeting where they would be devising a way forward or a strategy uh, as they had discussed in the recently held uh, uh, all parties conference of the opposition parties that was held on the 20th of September. Now, the, the whole the thrust of this meeting would be uh, to devise a strategy where they would be coming up with, uh, with protest campaigns all across the country against the arrest of Shabazz Sharif and against the Imran Khan regime, the currently in power Imran Khan regime, they would, they're also, like, they would also be deliberating on multiple options, including mass resignation that can possibly lead towards an elections as well. This, is, this was, uh, was said by Mariam Nawaz Sharif yesterday in her press conference. So today, an all-important meeting, in about, roughly in about an hour and a half from now, uh, uh, at a nearby hotel that is to take place here in Islamabad, where the opposition parties would be deliberating and would further be devising a way forward on on how to go about against the arrest of the opposition leader. Now, the opposition parties have also accused that this uh, this arrest that had uh, that had been done by the Accountability Bureau yesterday, it has nothing to do with quote unquote the the, the slogan of accountability, but by and large, it is in a in a way to influence the upcoming Gilgit Baltistan election, and that was reiterated by S. N. Iqbal as well, the Secretary General of PMLN, who was also the former Interior Minister. So today, in a while from now, uh, 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 a multi-party meet 
or, or that uh, the, the meeting of the Pakistan Democratic Movement is all set to take place, where they would be devising a way forward following Shahbaz Sharif's arrest. Yes, Shobit. Right, Aras. Now, while these opposition parties have slammed Imran Khan, they have been more, even more critical about the Pakistan military's involvement in the political process of uh, Pakistan. They say that Imran Khan has come to power with the backing of the Pakistani military. They are now accusing the military of being directly involved in political process. We know that Pakistan Army Chief held a meeting, in fact, with certain political parties over uh, the status of Gilgit Baltistan as well. And uh, several leaders, including Maryam Nawaz, were quite critical of that. So that seems to be a key uh, point of contention here, isn't it? They say, or some pundits say, that this crackdown on the opposition is also being influenced and backed by the Pakistani military. Well, uh, in a way, uh, the, uh, the the role of the Pakistani military has been heavily criticized, criticized over the past uh, few weeks uh, with regards to their quote-unquote meddling in uh, in the Pakistani politics. Uh, we saw uh, the uh, former Pakistani Prime Minister, uh, the ousted Pakistani Prime Minister, uh, alleging the role, uh, alleging uh, uh, that uh, the uh, Pak the current Pakistani government, the Imran Khan government, has been uh, brought into power by the military, and uh, he also uh, spoke about uh, the state within a state concept, yeah. and that's something that uh, he was referring to that. Uh, in 2011, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Yusuf Zaglani, had also referred to as well. So, by and large, it has been heavily criticized the role of Pakistani military, though the military has been maintaining that they, would, they do not want to be associated by any ways, by any means, with the current political process or with the current political regime, given that their job is to quote unquote safeguard borders and they have. As I said, uh, this is what they have been maintaining, that they have been requesting or asking the political leaders to keep them away from, quote-unquote, their dirty politics. This is what have been maintained. But the role of military yesterday as well, Mariam Nawaz Sharif criticized them heavily uh, uh, as well. Uh, and then there have been some meetings that have that have hinted that, uh, uh, that uh, by and large, that, they, that the military does, it seems like that they would have to do something greatly even now to, to do with the political right. structure. So, uh, something that Imran Khan wants to negate, but by, but in many ways he ends up reiterating the same, given that they, he has been uh, blabbering about this mantra of being on the, of the civil and military being on the same page. So therefore, they, uh, they, uh, there is a nuance, there is an instance, or there is this feeling that this crackdown is indeed being backed by all the political, uh, by all the stakeholders that might include the military as well but but that being said the military has been distancing itself from it at least officially yes Shobit. Anas, thank you so much for getting us all the details uh, the mega meeting of the opposition is uh, going to take place in just a short while from now in pakistan amidst this massive crackdown on various uh, opposition parties by the pakistani government it remains to be seen what the outcome of this meeting would be or whether they would be even be able to go ahead and hold that nationwide uh, protest against the Imran Khan government that they have planned for next month.